Wait, now test of a surface condenser, a lecture for mechanical engineering laboratory two. So this is uh, shown, pinapakita dito is yung equipment. Ito yung sa surface condenser, tapos test mo siya. Uh, gauges. Okay. Surface condenser, contamination of the feed water by mixture with the circulating water is eliminated in the surface type of condenser. At the right side of figure 1, ito, circulating water enters the cold and water box close to the tubes to the warm, warm yan, I need warm, warm and water box. In leaves at the top of the warm and water box. When circulating water outlet connections are usually, but not always, located at the top of the water box and the inlet is located at the bottom of the water box. At the outlet of the water is normally less than atmospheric pressure. Therefore, placing the water outlet at the top permits scavenging air and gases out of the passages to prevent air binding. <laughs> in a single pass condenser, as this shown in figure one, single pass toilet apples, diba, isang pass or club circulating water makes one passage to the unit. Two pass condenser have the inlet and outlet on the same water out box. Pang, pag, ano, two pass itong in, ang out dito sa taas. If the unit of figure one were a two pass unit, the inlet and outlet connection would be on the same water box. And the horizontal bubble in that water box would be solid to push the water to the tube. <clears throat> the water box at the Opposite and opposite to the inlet and outlet connection is then known as return water box. So, pag wala ito dito, and ito yung outlet outlet. So, ito yung return kasi dyan ang iikot. Usually, the first pass having the coldest water is at the bottom of the condenser. Condenser may have one, two, three, or four passes. One and two pass condenser are the most common. So, water boxes may be divided by vertical partition into two equal parts. There are Two inlet and two outlet circulating water connection. Pwede rin yun. The budget water box permit the operator to open the water to the to open the water the to open the water boxes for one side of the condenser and clean the tubes while the other side of the condenser is in operation. Of course, the turbine cannot carry full load while half of the condenser is out of operation. So wait. Uh... Okay. So in passing through the tube, the circulating water receives energy from this steam by convection and conduction to the tube wall. So may mga tube yan. And its temperature is increases from initial T1 to final T2. Since the steam enters the condenser in the moist state, its temperature remains constant throughout the condenser, but its latent energy is removed. Condensing. Wait for that. Okay. So condensed steam called condensate. Ito. Steam inlet. Collects in the hot well. So this is the hot well whose capacity should be at least equal to the maximum condensate produced in one minute. It is removed by the condensate pump. So, ang capacity nito is multiply mo ng one minute, yung flow rate, so makuha mo yung dimension nito. So, makuha mo yung dimension ng talim. Water boxes and covers are made of cast iron and are held to the shell by bolts to the planges. So, tube sheets are inserted between the water box plants and the shell plants. These sheets are usually made of ruled mounts, metal, 60% copper, 40% zinc, or ruled naval brass, 60% copper, 39.25% zinc, 0.75% tin, while the shell is welded copper bearing steel or cast iron. Yan yung mga materials niya. Shells vary from 3.8 to 7 inch thick. 
thickness. While tube sheets vary from 7, 8 to 1 and a half inch thickness. Tube sheets, ito, <coughs> yung sinasaksakan ng tube. Ito, ito, para tube sheet yan. Yung sa battle box, ito. Yung nakakonek kung saan nakalagay yung tubo. Kawel. Welded construction has become popular because of improvement in welding techniques that allowed reduced cost. So, post plate are located at periodic intervals along the length of the tubes to steady them and to prevent vibration from impediments of high velocity steam. So, post plates may be of steel, much metal, etc. Much metal has the advantage that it does not cut tube when there is vibration. Saan yung support tubes? Ito may mga support yan dyan. Admiralty Meral, primarily 70 to 73 percent copper, 1 percent tin, 26 to 29 percent zinc, is the most popular tube material. Although arsenical copper, copper nickel, most metal, red brass, and aluminum brass are used. Addition of very small amount of arsenic, antimony, and phosphorus to the Admiralty Metal inhibits the metal to prevent disinfection. Disinfection. Condenser calculation. So condensers, coefficient of heat transfer for surface condensers should include conduction to the metal wall and surface conduction or convection for the water film on the inside of the tube and for the steam film on the outside of the tube. The overall, niya, assuming that the tube is commercially clean. Actual tube may have a slimy film on the inside from algae and circulating water. So many stations employ continuous or intermittent chlorine chlorination of the circulating water to prevent formation on the tube as this film reduces the coefficient of heat transfer. So because of many uncertainties involved in calculating coefficient, the heat exchanger, the heat exchange institute which is composed of the major manufacturer of heat exchange equipment has standardized the overall coefficient of heat transfer U to be used in the design of condenser sa figure 2. And then yung mga U. So, ito yung mga parameters na kailangan mo. Diba? Values given on the curves are for 70 degrees Fahrenheit, water entering commercially clean tube made of number 18, BWG Admiralty Metal. So, correction are given for other metals in thicknesses. So, dito yung mga thicknesses, metal in thickness, andyan yung correction factor, temperature, andito. So, so, U, ito naman. So, it transfer yung u value niya and dito is sa 5 8 and 3 port c is 270 7 8 to end 1 in c is 263 yan na ko yung form na yan and then temperature correction factor in dito dito ka magbabasa ang uh, bawa yung temperature mo 60 sa so pandong ka sa kabila ah. pag u value dito ka 6 feet per second punta ka dun sa left side May example naman tayo so, a temperature surface diagram for a condenser would consist of a constant temperature line for the steam condensing and rising curve line for the circulating water being heated. It transfer tayo. The, use, the equation for the log mean temperature difference and the quantity of energy transferred are theta m as theta 2 minus theta 1 over ln of theta 2 over theta 1 and q is equal to ua theta, uh, theta m or lmtd. So, where that time is the log mean temperature difference, Fahrenheit or degree C, uh, SI or English. Theta 1 is the minimum term terminal temperature difference, theta saturated minus T2. Theta, one, theta 2 is the maximum temperature difference, is the T sat minus T1. Kasi yung T1, mas mababa sa T2. Okay? T sat is the saturated temperature of the steam, Fahrenheit. T1 is the inlet circulating water temperature. T2 is the outlet circulating water temperature. U is the overall coefficient of heat transfer based on outside tube area. Vt per R per square foot of outside area, outside tube, then per R and Fahrenheit. A is the outside tube area in square feet. The coefficient of heat transfer to be used cannot be obtained directly from figure 4, but can be defined by 
where u is equal to u bar u times ft times fm times fc times fp. u bar u is the coefficient of heat transfer from figure 2. Pt per r per square feet at any velocity. So yan. Ito. Kunin mo uh, ang tube diameter mo, velocity, then makukuha mo yung bar u. Then, ft is a temperature question factor from figure 2. Other than 70, other than 70, di ba? 70 is 1.0. Other than 70, so meron kang mag-iba yung value mo. FM is the tube material in thickness collection factor from figure 2. Ito yan. Uh, Admiralty metal, it in BWG is 1.0. Okay? FC, the cleanliness factor. FP is the prime mover factor. 1.0 for turbines in 0.75 for steam engine. Ano yun? Yung turbine, ito yung nagpo-produce ng power sa susupply sa mga ilaw, sa ganyan. Yan. Steam engine, nagsusupply ito sa machine. Okay? Parang motor. So, coefficient of engineer's factor, later, coefficient of it transfer depends on the velocity of the fluid flowing through the tube and on the firm temperatures. Kanyang ito ang pag-design ng mga trip, mag repair ka sa mga katalog o sa mga codes. Hindi ka mag-derive kasi andyan na sila, may mga table na. The institute curve assumes a water firm temperature corresponding to a water temperature of 70 Fahrenheit. The correction for any other water temperature may be found from the temperature curve or some sisa is at the top of the sheet. The cleanliness factor is concerned with films formed by algae and dirty water. When circulating water is clean or is chlorinated, a factor of 0.85 is normally used. Lower value should be used for bad water condition and a value of 0.95 should be used for good water conditions. Yeah. Now, the heat transfer coefficient given in figure 2 are for condenser receiving steam that is free of oil, such as turbine exhaust. Condenser tube serving as steam engine become coated with an oil film that causes drop of water on the tube surface rather than a filter film on the surface. This reduces the heat transfer. Condenser tubes are selected from the pore sizes listed on the heat transfer curve, a path 1, 2, 3, 4. And are usually of thicknesses corresponding to number 18, W Birmingham wire gauge, ito yung other thickness. Tubes smaller than 5, 8 inches become plugged too easily. While tubes larger than 1 inch OD or China requires excessive amounts of water to maintain a reasonable velocity. So, even 5, 8, and 3, 4 tubes clog very easily and for that reason are used only in a small condenser. So, the 5, 8 tubes are used for marine application. For stationary plants, they are seldom used above 500 square feet. Now, for condenser of 500 to 270 square feet, 3 foot inch tube are used. So, dito makikita mo yung range ng surface area. Alam mo na gamitin na tube. Other ranges are 3 foot or 7, 8 inch tube from 3,000 to 4,750 square foot. 3 foot or 7, 8 or 1 inch tube from 5,000 to 14,000 square feet. Either 7, 8 or 1 inch tube for 15,000 square feet and above. So, maganda itong reference. The proper tube size is a matter of economic selection and engineering adjustment as to the possibility of plugging. Because of because of the latter factor, many engineers prefer to select the largest possible tube diameter. Number 18, BWG thickness will, will withstand ordinary water temperature. Unusual condition may require heavier tubes. Sizes and thickness may be visualized from figure 3. So, from to an. So, post mo na tayo. Continue. So, condenser calculation. Pa na. Use physical data for condenser or useful physical data for condenser or feed water heater tubes are given in table 1. So, ito yung mga useful data. Uh, sa diameter, it's a diameter. So, ito yung mga tube size. Outside diameter sa 5, it is 0.625. For any BWG number, 10, 11, 12. And ito yung inside diameter. Ito yung equivalent in inches ng BWG. Habang lumalaki, lumiliit. Ito yung surface outside square feet per linear foot. Ito na siya yung surface area. 
length input for one square foot surface. So, reciprocal lang yan, ah. 1 over 4 is 1, 6, 3, 6 is 6.11 foot. Laman, na, laman niya is water quantity, GPM at 1 feet per second velocity. Ito. Okay? Yan yun. So, pag 1.5, multiply mo ito ng 1.5. So, weight of tube, pounds per square foot, and dito. So, kung gusto mo malaman yung weight, total weight ng no, ano, difference, ha? Okay? Up to 1 inch. Condenser length, condenser tube length is of extreme exponents be because of its direct effect on friction loss. Figure 4. Figure 4. The friction loss for number 18, BWG condenser tubes in water boxes. So, tube loss based, based on William and Hayden formula using C is 113. Okay, this is from the exchange exchange. So, ito the friction loss, width of water per foot of tube. Okay, so water velocity ito. Uh, any sizes, makukuha mo dito sa left side yung friction niya. So, ito naman sa taas na curve. So, for multiple pass condenser, multiply water box loss for single pass by number of passes lang. So, ito yung sa water box. So, ilan yung kung single pass ka, so isa lang. Pag kung two pass, so times mo yun. Two. Yung water box friction kasi dun siya nakakukombine. So, sa return box, kanon din. This is for single pass. <clears throat> Imagine a small oh, and because of steam distribution over the tube band that. Imagine a small condenser with a steam inlet nozzle 2 feet diameter with, tube less, with tubes 45 feet long. The ends of the tube would not receive sufficient steam to operate successfully. Ang kinukupit natin, pressure drop ito is yung water, ah, hindi yung steam. So tube, inside tube. On the extreme, other extreme, tubes 10 feet long would be entirely too short for a large condenser with a square Steam inlet nozzle 15 feet on each side. Table 2 may be used as a rough guide for length of condenser. So, andito. For a tube surface area na ko mo, andito yung proportion, nakaproportion na tube length. So, pa nag-compute ka ng heat transfer, nag-assume ka ng length, mapapasok siya sa range. Tubes longer than 20 feet, actual not effective length, are seldom used because there is a cost penalty for excess length. Di ba? Hindi mo na mababiyahe yan. So, since space water temperature varies throughout the year, the condenser should be designed for an average inlet temperature expected during the year. But the condenser should always be large enough to accommodate all steam exhausted from the turbine during its absolute maximum load operation. An oversized condenser will increase the initial cost of the station but will reduce operating cost by permitting the turbine to operate with a low exhaust pressure. So, the reverse is true, also true for an undersized condenser. Proper condenser size is a matter of economical justification. So many designers believe that good condenser proportion result when the temperature differs between the steam and the inlet water is 20 Fahrenheit to 25 Fahrenheit. So para design ka, alam mo na yung gagamitin mong difference. The in Institute Standard prohibits a terminal difference of less than 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, kasado kasi malaki na yung condenser mo. So, pag less than 5 degrees Fahrenheit, ang ginagamit na kasi dito is yung plate type. Okay? So, maximum circulating water velocity is limited by erosion on the inlet ends of the tube and by deflection loss to the condenser. Velocities in excess of 8 feet per second are seldom used. Yan, yung velocity naman. The practical minimum velocity at design condition is 5 or 6 feet per second. So, tube. Velocities in excess of 6 feet per second help to prevent marine organisms from attaching themselves to the tube. Diba? So, it is good practice to use 7 to 7 and a half feet per second. 8 feet per second is not uncommon. So, yeah, 7 to 7 and a half. Para simple, yung bilis mo, yung mga organism, sasama sa plot. Okay.
Now, condition calculation for non reheat tube installation are based on 90, 950 BTU per pound of steam rejected and 1000 BTU per pound of steam for engine application. Okay, in a, all in accordance with the standard of Heat Exchange Institute. Although not provided for any standard, some engineers use 1000 BTU per pound rejected for reheat turbines because of their lower exhaust moisture. We have been pag compute mo ng ano ng mass flow gamitin mo ito iba or yung delta s1 minus h2 dun sa turbine so wala kang available data so use this for non reheat 950 and 1000 for steam for engine application so example number 1 design uh, surface condenser for a turbine exhaust 50,000 pounds per hour of steam at 2 inch mercury absolute with circulating water entering at 80 Fahrenheit. So, yan. use an 8 degrees terminal difference, 7 feet per second, 3 per inch, 18 BWG tube, and a cleanliness factor of 85. So, may tubo ka, wala ka lang yung dimension ng ano, yung length, sa diameter ng shell, ano, basta yung buta niya dito is yung length ng tube. Ilang pass. Okay. So given WS, mga symbol natin, is 50,000 pounds per hour. Exhaust pressure is 2 inch mercury, absolute. T sub 1 is equal to 80 Fahrenheit. Theta 1 is 8 Fahrenheit. B is equal to 7 feet per second. D is equal to 3 per inch. Mga BWG, FC is 0.85. Required design of condenser. Okay. Kapag kailangan yung makuha mong mga sagot is makakambuo ka ng condenser. Di yung isa lang, okay na. Length lang, okay na. So, paano mo makuha yun? Design nun. Solution, at 2 inch mercury, absolute, saturated temperature is 101.1 Fahrenheit. So, theta m is equal to theta 2 minus theta 1 over, divided by theta 2 over theta 1. So, theta 2 is T set minus T1 is 101.1 minus 80 is equal to 21.1. Then, theta 1 is equal to the temperature difference between 8. So, theta m is equal to 21.1 minus 8 over ln of 21.1 over 8 is 13.54 Fahrenheit. So, ayan. Ito so, muna yung LMTD. And Q is equal to UA. Sorry. This is capital A. Ah. Theta m. U is equal to value times FT times FM times FC times FB. From figure 4, so we have U is 713, FT is 1.05 at 80 Fahrenheit, and FM is 1.0418 with W Admiralty, or FP is 1.0 for Torbin. Okay. Okay. Eight up para makita nyo. Wala. Okay, so dito. Ayan. So, so no, 7 feet per second. No? So, uh, 3 ports. 7 feet. Lakit ka doon. Then, 3 ports. Andiyan. Tingnan mo dito. This is 713. Ayan ha. 1. Tantyan mo. 7, 7. Divide mo ito ng 5. So, first niya yeah, is 7, 1. So, tama. 7, 1, 3. 7 feet up to 7, 1, 3, yan. Kasi yung unang dalawa is 5, 10. Tapos 15 yung ano, okay. So, next is FT is 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05. 1.05.
80 Fahrenheit. So this is na 1.05. Kahit na ng 1.1 saka 1.0. Obvious, di ba? So baka may magawa sa inyo na ano, tinabingi pa. Pumunta pa doon sa baba. Eh? So next is FM is 1.0 for 18 WW Admiralty. So also FP nga is 1.0 for Torbin. Can discuss natin kanina. Kaya tanggalin na natin ito. So, ayan. Napanasin. U is equal to, ito na, substitute mo na yung value, 713 times 1.05 times 1.0 times 0.85 times 1 is 636 meter per square foot per hour per night. So, assume na not ni heat turbine. Hindi kasi pwedeng mantos kasi ano yun. Uh, it's the turbine sa kalit. With the heat. So, wala tayong heat. Delta H is 950 BTU per pound. So, A is equal to WS times delta H over U over delta M. It's 50,000 times 950. Yan, di ba? Divided by 66, then 13.54 is 5516 square feet. Then, by heat balance, T2 is equal to T sat minus T1 is 101 minus 8 is 93.1 Fahrenheit. The circulating water now is WW is equal to WS Delta H over CP times T2 minus T1 is 50,000 times 950 over 1 times 93.1 minus 80. So itong product ito is to yung condenser load. It transferred. So 3,626,000 pounds per hour. Divide by bandwidth to give uh, flow of 7252 GPM. Okay? Central galing na 500. Itry nyo yung 8.32 or 8.34 times 60. Lalabas doon approximately 500. Uh, for number of tubes per pass from table 1, for 3.4 inch number 18 BWD, tube will pass 1.042 GPM at 1 feet per second. So 3 ports, ito. 3 ports, 1 point, ito. Water quantity, 1.042 GPM per 1 foot per second. So therefore, Ito tatagal. So at 7 feet per second, kung ano lang yun, 7 Yan. So, yung velocity, yung GPM mo, at 7, this is 1 foot per second. So, at 7 feet per second, multiply mo siya ng 7. So, yun ang magiging GPM niya. Diba? So, 7 to 5 to GPM, divided by ito, GPM to is magiging 995 tubes per pass. So, isang tubo mo kasi 7 times 1.042 gallons per minute. So, magiging 995 tubes per pass na 3 port. Now, for the number of passes determined by length from table 1, each tube has gone then as 0.1960 square foot of outside surface per foot of length. So for one pass, the effective length is 55,500 divided by 995 times 0.1963. This is the area, yung 5516, so 28.2 feet. From table 2, the length is unreasonable. Yung table 2 na pinakita natin na may mga length proportion. So for A, 5.16 must be 14 to 20 feet. Kita ulit natin. Uh, 
Ayan. For 10 to 20 feet. Kalpasok yan yung area mo. Kaya misa may info ka dito. Kasi kung hindi, gagamitin mo 28. Ang hirap. Ay mga code kasi yung nakalagay. O ngayon pa, ngayon. Mga limitation. So, yan. So, for 2 pass, effective length is 28 point over 14.1 feet, which is dissonable. Pasok. Therefore, use 2 pass. The total number of tubes is 2 times 995 or 1990 tubes. Kasi yung second pass mo. Yung unang pass, 995. Yan po, pupasok lang ulit sa second pass. Now, the thickness of tube sheet. So, yan na, di ba? Meron ka ng number of tubes, 1990. So, thickness of tube sheet. A condenser of this type would have 1 inch thick tube sheets. Kanina. Actual tube length is 14 point So, idagdag mo na yung, ano, yung tube sheet. Plus is, is 14.3. So, it's 14.1 plus 2 times 1 over 12. Dalawa yung tube sheet mo, di ba? Tube sheet ito, yung kinakabita ng tuba. Now, the friction is, so, kasama yun sa magiging computation mo ng friction loss. Friction loss in the condenser from figure 6, 7 feet per second, triple tube. The tube friction loss is 0.4 feet of water per foot of tube. 7 feet, 3 ports. Yan, 7 feet, 3 ports. So, dyan papasok siya, di ba? 0.4. Ano na. So, picture loss in single pass condenser water box is 1.41 feet of water. So, sa ano, sa 2 pass, mamultiply mo ito ng 2. So, now, the friction loss now is 2 times 14.3. Dalawa ito kasi yung isang 2, 14.3 ito. Tapos bumalik siya doon, another 14.3. So, times 2. Times 0.4 per foot ng tube. Yun. Plus 2 times 1.41 yung sa tube sheet. So, this is now 14.26 feet. So, i-summarize mo itong mga sagot na ito. Meron ka ng dimension. May friction loss kasi kailangan mo sa pump. Yung ka number of tube. Yung ka so, ito sa tube sheet. So, yan. Okay? So, economic selection of condenser. So, condenser manufacturer have standardized condenser sizes. Effective tube lengths are in 2 feet increments and for different lengths for each surface area. Yung mga manufacturer, kaya mo sa brochure niya. So, surface, surface areas are, standard, are standardized in 100 square feet increment from 100 to 1,500 square feet and 250 square feet increment from 1,500 to 2,000 2, square feet in 500 square foot increment from 8,000 to 10,000 square feet and 1,000 square foot increments from 10,000 to 20,000 square feet and 2,500 square feet increments from 20,000 to 50,000 square feet and in 5,000 square feet increments up to 100,000 square feet. Also, the condenser may have 1, 2, 4 passes. Kaya alam nyo na gamitin yung increments, di ba? Itong 100, 200, 200, 200, 400, hanggang 1,500. Itong 250, so magiging 250, so, 1, 5, 1, 750, 2,000, tama? Yeah, and so on. The factors to be considered in economic study of selecting the proper unit include initial cost of condensing equipment, cost of the effect of the condenser vacuum on the plant heat rate, cost of circulating pump, power, cost of intake and discharge structure, cost of building, and cost of change in turbine capacity because of vacuum. Okay? So, structure. Kasi yung laki ng condenser mo. Yung pump. Yung friction loss. Some general observation can be made on condenser sizes. A. For a parang ballpark approximation. For a given flow, a single pass condenser usually requires 50% more water than a two pass condenser. Parang nag-thesis experiment. B. Average circulating water temperature rises from ab are about 15 Fahrenheit for 2 pass and for 10 F for single pass condenser. Ayan yung delta T ng water. C, single pass condenser about 10 pounds per hour of steam for each square foot of surface while 
two pass unit condense about 8 pounds per hour for each square foot of surface. Mga gamit mo ito sa mga pag-design ng condenser. B, for each 1 degree increase in circulating water in the temperature, the surface and circulating water requirements will increase 5%. So all conditions remain unchanged. So para kayo nag-experiment, diba? Pinuprove nyo. Pinuprove. So, E, to decrease condenser pressure 0.1 inch mercury, the surface and circulating water requirement must be increased by 9%. All other conditions remain unchanged. F, an increase of 0.1 feet per second water velocity decreases the surface by 0.85% and the circulating water will increase 0.45%. All other conditions remain unchanged. G, an increase of 5 percentage points in cleanliness factor will decrease surface and circulating water requirement as 3.5%. All other factors remain unchanged. H, if sufficient circulating water is available, the most eco economical condenser is a single pass unit with the smallest tube permissible. So, yan. Okay, so hanggang dito lang. Topic natin sa condenser. This is a surface type condenser. So other condenser naman doon na kaysa power plant magbase. Okay, thanks. This is the end.